Stephen, this, this one's for you, and it's a beaut. This is an online question from Rachel. Before I attended law school, I had a visual memory, could recall passages in books, etc. During law school, it was like my brain was reprogrammed. At some points, I totally forgot everyday words like fence or shoe. Other law students had similar issues. What was going on with brain language skills? Did I override my brain with law and dump certain unrelated info? Ah, cool. <laughs> uh, well, be my, my suspicion is that uh, it's another case of interference of ma remembered material by similar material. In law school, uh, one has to process such vast amounts of verbal material. Uh, that's, uh, the language is a profession of words, and, uh, a, and there's a massive amounts of reading. And it's possible that uh, <clears throat> so many associations were formed uh, between new words or new combinations of words that some of the more familiar pathways may have been diverted. Uh, so I don't think there was a reprogramming of the brain, although it's, I suppose it's conceivable that new material made old, old material harder to retrieve. But when you say diverted, that sounds pretty physical. Well, everything in the brain is, is ultimately physical. So uh, anything that you remember, anything that you, that you forget, anything that you learn, anything that you feel is ultimately physical. So there is a, there's a, a, many neuroscientists have become alarmed at the fact that phenomena, psychological phenomena that we've all known, such as that when you practice something you get better at it, uh, if you see a good therapist, your attitude changes, you can take all of those familiar life changes and correctly re-describe it as the, something has changed in your brain, the wiring has changed, which is literally true because as Paul points out, uh, the idea that we have a mind that's completely separate from the brain is, a, is an illusion. All aspects of mental life ultimately reside in the physical details yes, yeah. of the brain. So anything that changes in your experience does involve a change in the brain, but it just sounds so much more profound when you use brain talk instead of mind talk <laughs> that you can overestimate how important some change is mm. if you describe it uh, in, in hardware terms.